today we are going to do a hands-on session on encoding images as text and embedding in Power BI. Before doing that, uh, let me just uh, quickly show you what is the native approach of uh, embedding images in Power BI and what are the disadvantages of this native approach. Okay. If you could all download the folder that I've given you and follow the steps. Am I audible? Yep. Just yes. Yeah. Okay. Do I also need to download the folder? I can't see the folder. Oh, just a moment. I've sent the link in the uh, chat. Can you access that? Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah. So let's continue. Uh, let's first uh, talk about the native approach of uh, embedding images in the Power BI. I have a product image table here with the image as uh, uncategorized. So let me make it as a web URL in the data category. Now I've selected a table visual and added the name and the image columns. Okay. Now what uh, typically the process is, uh, we'll click on the uh, web URL and we'll be navigated to that particular page, right? But if you can see the arrangement here uh, for this particular link, it's pretty short compared to the Aston Martin. If you can see the Bugatti.jpg, the link is very short and the Aston Martin.jpg has occupied more space. To make it more appealing, we have to make it wider, right? Uh, so instead of this, we can use a URL icon, which has the same functionality, but with a much better approach. But what we are trying to do is we want a native approach of embedding images in the Power BI itself. So for that, uh, we'll change the data category of the image to the image URL, right? So we got all the images. What is the uh, disadvantage of this approach? Is that if the URL link is uh, updated or is it changed or we are having a network issues, we can't connect to the internet, then what we will be able to see is the placeholders. We will not really see the images there, but we'll be uh, able to see the placeholders. So I've come up with a method through which uh, we'll be able to see the images. Even we are not able to connect to the internet or uh, even if the link is changed or updated. Okay. Let me get to that. Here I'm connected to the uh, original uh, table and the image is image URL. If you can see the data category, it's still image URL, but I'm not able to see the images. Let me just go to the Power Query editor. In the files that I have shared with you, uh, you could just uh, make the source adjusted accordingly. And uh, initially just connect to the original, not the compressed one. Yeah, we got uh, the source here and uh, I, I will be, uh, I'll make all of this into a lower case just for safety. I'll remove all of the columns other than the name and content. Okay. I'll reorder it. Now, if you can see the images are, you have before uh, you can get to the step, uh, you have to connect this folder. We're going to the get data and connect to the folder. Okay. And uh, right now we can see the image, but it is in a binary format as we have uh, imported that from a folder directly. If you can see, we are able to see the size, just that, but not the actual image, right? So in order to see the image or encode the image as text, we need to add a column, custom column. I'll name it as URL. And we can use a formula called binary to text. Okay. And what are the arguments that we need in this formula is first, uh, where is the binary? Uh, yeah, it's in the content field, right? We'll insert that. And what is the encoding that we need to apply on this particular binary uh, field to convert it to a text? We'll use the base 64 base encoding dot base 64 binary encoding and we'll close the bracket and we'll click the okay right even if we close and apply right now we will not be able to see the entire images the reason being is we have not given 
I'll convert this to an image URL. And I'll add it to the data model. Yeah. The reason being uh, we are not able to see the images is because we have not added a constant text uh, before uh, the argument before the formula that we have uh, defined in the Power Query editor for that particular custom column. Okay. Let's go to the custom column. Now uh, I'll be mentioning where the data is. Okay. Data is in the URL, right? I'll give the name of the URL. And what is the encoding standard? Uh, the encoding standard and the data should be uh, separated with a semicolon. So the data uh, encoding needs to be in the base 64. So I'll give base 64 here, right? And I'll give a common space and I'll click okay. If you can see the constant text has been added. Now I'll close and apply. Now we are able to see the images, but not all of them. Why? Because if you can see, I've uh, written a, a length, which returns the length of this particular URL. We are able to see Perceptive Analytics PNG and red.jpg, right? The length of these particular two is less than the 32,766. So they are much more larger than the limited size. So how to compress them? is uh, we can use any uh, compressors or uh, online compressors. Just upload the file. I'm using a compressed tau.com. Upload the file here and we'll be able to see what is the required size. The required size is between 20 to 24 KB, less than 24 KB also it works, but more than 24 KB will be, a, uh, will be uh, stuck with the same scenario where uh, the placeholder will be in the place. Okay. So let me just make it around 20 or 24 and compress and then download that. I'll go to the transform data and change the source. I have already attached the source of all the compressed files. You could just change it directly. Instead of the original, I'll use the compressed one and they'll use a close and apply. Now we are able to see all the images except the gray dot JPG. The reason being is same. It's more than 32,766. We can uh, 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 comp uh, compress that and uh, include that as well, right? So if we want to do it in a much uh, more, more frequently, then uh, instead of every time typing the formula there for the custom column, we can use a, let me just go to the transform data. Now uh, I can create a custom uh, function by going to the blank query. Before that, I'll just copy the formula that we have given in the uh, custom column. Now, every time, the data will not be in the content column, right? This this works, but every time the data, the binary contents will not be in the content column itself. So what we can do is we can create a parameter. I'll create the parameter IMG as binary. This is the data type that I'm declaring. And the output that I want is as text, right? And I'll give a goes to operator. And here we have to change uh, the reference uh, from content column to the parameter that we have created IMG and I'll add a new column invoking the custom function. I'll make it as custom itself. If you can see both of them are exactly same, right? Now, instead of the URL, I'll use the query to, and let me just change the data category of that to the image URL and add it to the view. So this is how uh, we can encode uh, the images as text and embedding in Power BI uh, through which we can uh, handle the disadvantages of the native approach.